thank you so much for watching Mission Julie TV. Where we talk about everything and when we everything, I mean like. We are on episode number 16, y'all. I can't believe I've done 16 episodes about this crazy situation. So although this is not the longest series that I've done, because actually the longest series that I've done was a series about my mama, and that was actually 21 episodes. And I can't believe I did 21 episodes about that, girl. Y'all already know, if you're new to my channel, hey, how you doing? Welcome. I know you see me on them recommendations, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below you do not want to miss anything that i have coming next i have a whole nother series coming this summer so please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button because first of all it's free like it, it ain't gonna hurt you to see a bitch like me on your uh home screen okay <laughs> also don't forget to go check out my other story times if you are new it's best for you to be caught up that way you can know exactly what i'm talking about don't be afraid to go to them other story times that way a lot of this shit can make sense okay hit that like button that way your girl can get out here in these youtube streets and turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified when the next time i post so y'all the last story time we left off i was telling y'all about my whole birth story and how you know katrina and her kids got me sick and all of this type of shit or whatever but on the bright side of all of that i did welcome a beautiful baby boy into the world and at this point i was motherfucking ready to chump deuces like for real for real i'm just like okay i've had the baby at this point there's only space and opportunity left for me to get done what i need to do which was ultimately try to find a house so we were having issues with trying to find a house up until this point we still hadn't gotten approved for anything yet but i was still i wasn't giving up i was still applying and all of that throughout this time like i told y'all my mom was actually in town helping me with the baby my mom actually got a glimpse of how katrina really was because i will always talk to my mom about the situation as well and so now that she's actually at the house with us she was sharing the bathroom because my mama was upstairs in the boys room and so she was sharing the bathroom that i was telling you i was so pissy and dirty and all that shit. And so my mama was she got a caught a glimpse of what i was talking about and so long story short my mama didn't care for her at all she didn't care for katrina because she just saw how she was and she seen how she was bringing men in and out the house and stuff like <laughs> come on now i'm pretty sure katrina wouldn't want her mama to see that shit but you know to each his own katrina she was grown i was to the point where i didn't even care like yeah it was like okay the bitch is nasty but at the same time i was just focused on moving and getting the fuck on katrina she randomly texted me because i still hadn't told her that we were gonna move yet because i didn't know how the shit was gonna play out at this point because we still hadn't gotten approved for anything and my husband he is type where he would want to prepare for the worst if need be i'm the type i don't look like preparing for the worst because the worst is really not an option for me <laughs> at least that's how i look at certain things and so my husband was just like because we hadn't gotten approved for a house yet my husband was just like you know just worst case scenario we just might need to sign another lease with her and just maybe try to transfer into another home or something or something bigger or whatever i don't know but that's just the worst case and i was like i immediately caught attitude whenever he told me that because i'm just like no that's that ain't an option like i hear what you're saying i i get it but that ain't that ain't a fucking option i am trying to go i'm i'm feeling sad i'm feeling down and then also i was on maternity leave so i wasn't working either so i'm just at home just with the baby and not doing nothing so all i have to do is take care of my baby and my kids and my husband and think about how i want to get the fuck on out this house you know i'm not really doing anything to occupy my time so this is all i'm thinking about so staying with her another day bitch past the lease being up wasn't an option for me it wasn't but i understood what my husband was saying so i was just like okay let me just call these people and when i say whenever i say these people i mean our current company that we were renting through i'm like let me just call them and see how everything will work so i called them and pretty much they were saying that it wasn't really like a transfer it wasn't such thing as transferring properties we basically just do a whole application process again as if we never rented from their 
company ever before so i'm just like uh i don't really like that but okay i have that in my back pocket i know what we have to do if it comes down to it towards the end of april katrina randomly texted me and this was april 21st so like i said towards the end of april she randomly texted me and she was like hey are we renewing the lease or moving when the lease is up and when she texted me that i'm just like <laughs> oh shit, okay let me find out like does she know something that i don't know or is she just inquiring because i honestly felt like she was going to inquire anyway because it was literally getting closer and closer and i hadn't said anything to her about moving or anything and neither did she up until this point so i responded and said hey i want to move closer to the city because living out here depressing but didn't know yet and was going to talk to you about it first but bitch i hadn't yet because like i said i was trying i was trying to figure my shit out she just don't know that and then i said i seen some houses in blank but blank said we need to have a 30-day notice have a clear balance and redo another application since they technically don't have transfer options but the application will be free for us i don't know what you think though and then i also added that the rent would go up to that amount and um if we were to stay because that was the truth maybe like a month prior to i had got a um, letter in the mail just saying what the rent would go up to because they were increasing our rent maybe like at about 125 dollars or something like that and so she disliked that because bitch i dislike that shit too like the fuck i don't even like this town the fuck i look like paying 125 dollars more just to stay in the same area no i'm not doing that she responded and said definitely move closer to the city this country driving ain't it lol but yeah if there's a house within our budget that's big enough let's do it if not and we have to separate in order to move closer to the city that's cool too i don't want to say and yeah bitch i didn't want to say either so honestly her texting me that really gave me a relief because i didn't know what her where her mindset is because like y'all know we weren't really talking or whatever so i didn't know if she was cool with staying out here or not but the fact that we had that conversation i'm just like oh okay so we are on the same page who knows she probably wanted to move away from us too bitch like uh, who fucking knows if i was her i would want to move as well because first of all i would have wanted to move right when my man moved or my ex-man moved out because why am i living in a house with a whole married couple and their kids i think i said that in the beginning of the story time series as well but i, I keep reverting to that because it's like girl that ain't weird to you like we don't even know you we didn't even know you prior to you coming here really so that ain't weird to you that would have been weird for me off jump like i would have felt really uncomfortable but it worked for her now we're to the point where she ready to leave and we ready to leave too so i'm just like bet we on the same page now i just really need to get my shit together because i'm not trying to transfer no houses i'm not trying to do shit okay so this next situation if by the way you have not followed me on instagram you missing the fuck out because i got a whole close friends for nothing but my youtube supporters for me to catch up with y'all and share exclusive tea so go ahead after this video follow me on instagram after you're done watching this video at miss angelique tv and go ahead and send me a dm and just be like girl i'm gonna be added to the close friends was good and i will be sure to add you because you don't want to miss out on the tea like the exclusive tea it's for free you know you ain't gotta pay or anything like that so go ahead and do that for me after this video of course i say that because i recently shared a picture in the close friends and i'm gonna get to the picture in a second so just keep watching so this particular day me and my husband went to visit his sister house and we were just chilling or whatever we were just trying to get out the house you know type of shit it was on the weekend so um we bought all of our kids and of course katrina and her children stayed at the house so you know we're there and we ended up leaving to go get something to eat or something like that and i was driving at the time and my husband was in the passenger seat and so i noticed stephen was calling me and i'm just like what the fuck is he calling me for like he don't never call me so i'm like what the fuck so i couldn't answer the phone because i was driving and it wasn't hooked up to my bluetooth so my husband answered and so girl all i hear was what and i'm just like oh Oh my god what the fuck didn't happen what the fuck didn't happen at this point i still don't know what happened my husband's still talking on the phone but i hear my husband say well did you tell your mama after that he was like well you need to tell your mama because we not there and da, 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 da. and so he got off the phone and so i'm just like what the fuck happened girl my husband said that 
Steven told him he and Lil Dante was outside in the backyard. They were playing ball or something, I don't know. And somehow Steven tripped and fell into our room window. <laughs> His whole body flew through the window Busted the motherfucking window and his first thing to do is to call us Even though his mama is there and that was another thing that my husband was saying on the phone He was like where your mama at and I guess at that point he was like my mama in the bed asleep And so he's like well you need to wake her up and tell her what didn't happen We not at the house we can't do shit you need to tell an adult I guess he goes and tell her and then moments later I received a text from Katrina and she's like Hey, Steven just told me about the window. Should I put in a maintenance request form? I'm just like, I mean, maybe. It didn't really dawn on me as to what she was asking right then and there because I was so irritated. So I instantly just replied to say, yeah, that'll be cool. And so she was like, I put it in. I'm so sorry. He said he was playing and tripped. I guess she meant and tripped and fell into the window. Y'all can have my room in the meantime. Bitch, what? Bitch, what? What you mean we can have your room? I don't want your room. Why, why the fuck would me, why would me and my husband and my children, because my children were sleeping in my room as well, what my younger children were, why the fuck would we want to bring our, <laughs> why would we want to do that? Why would we want to sleep in your room? Because your kid was doing whatever the fuck and was negligent and fucked up our window. Like, why would we want to do that? I was nasty i was grossed out whenever she suggested that because i'm just thinking about all of the bodies and all of the souls that have been taken away in her room no i don't want to do that so i said it's okay girl i think we have some boxes in the garage he can cut it up and just tape it to the window as good as he can to prevent the wind from coming through as much so go ahead and show y'all a picture that i shared in the close friends and that's a picture that i took of the window whenever we came back to the house whenever we came to the house our entire bed set, like the blanket, sheets, and everything was off our beds. Our bed set was in a washer because apparently glass flew on our bed, which I can believe because the window was literally like right next to the bed. So I'm just like, well, damn. But I will say she vacuumed it. I didn't see not one piece of glass. She helped them clean it up real good or whatever. And we got fresh sheets out of that, I guess. Um, but she sealed it up good as well, so I'll give her that. But it dawned on me after the fact, I'm just like, maintenance not gonna cover this. This was not no malfunction. This was not nothing that we couldn't have prevented. You know what I'm saying? This was on us. I highly doubt they're gonna cover that. I was honestly outdone because I'm just like, the fact that I was just thinking about what my husband was saying about the worst case scenario, we're just gonna have to stay another bit. No, we ain't saying another shit. Not a second, another minute. Whatever Smokey Robinson said, no, is it Smokey Norfolk? No, Smokey Robinson, oh Lord, forgive me, Smokey Norfolk. Whatever Smokey Norfolk said, not another nothing, okay? Because I can't deal, I, I can't deal. And I'm not going to. So, again, throughout this time, I'm just applying, applying, applying to places. We ended up getting another realtor uh, as well at this point. Because the realtor that I hired wasn't really moving about nothing, bitch. So, my husband, he reached out to somebody else. And he was dealing with her at this time. This particular day, I was actually on my way home from my postpartum appointment at my OBGYN and so I'm on my way home, mind my business, you know, taking my time and all of a sudden my phone rang and I see it's Katrina. So I'm just like, hmm, she don't really call me either. So what's the problem? What's going on? So I was getting ready to answer, but I don't think I answered quick enough. And so the call was missed. And so before I could even call her back, she ended up texting me and she says, hey, is Gabriel home? I locked my keys in the car in there. I'm at the Dollar General. What? So immediately I call her back and I'm just like, what happened? Like, what the fuck? She said somehow she locked her keys in the car. I don't know how she ended up doing this, but she did. So the baby's in the car. It's hot as fuck. And my husband, he at the house sleep with the baby. I ended up getting a hold of him and woke him up and told him what happened. And he instantly, he's annoyed because he's like, fuck, 
This girl is forever locking her keys in her car. This is the second time she didn't lock her keys in her car this year alone. My husband was really tired of going to her rescue. But because baby was in the car, like, I had sympathy and so did he at the end of the day. So, the fuck, we ain't gonna let the damn baby burn up, the fuck. So, by this time, my husband had to pack the baby in the car seat because my mama, she was gone. She wasn't at my house anymore. She had went back to Louisiana. So, it's just him. And so he had to do all of that to go where she was. And by the time he went where she was, cops and animal control and the fire department were already surrounding her and trying to help her because apparently according to Katrina, whenever that first happened, I guess the store clerk was outside and she noticed what was going on. And so she called 911 and they came out. Could nobody help get her keys out besides animal control, which is crazy. But um, the police couldn't, the fire department couldn't, but animal control, I guess they had the right tools to do what they had to do. And so they helped her and my husband, he basically left the house for no reason. But all in all, she got the baby out the car. <sighs> Another situation that just rose my blood pressure up because girl, don't, don't work my nerves like that. Like, do not do that. I already got anxiety. Like, you see, you see what my shirt say? I already got anxiety. Don't fuck with me like that. But I'm, I'm glad it worked out for her. Most importantly, the baby. Girl, another time, <laughs> moving forward, Steven ended up telling my husband what happened because Katrina, she didn't tell us this information. But according to Steven, his mama went somewhere to get her oil changed and they ended up telling her that the oil pan was broken and it was gonna cost like almost a thousand dollars, some some crazy ass number for her to fix. And of course, you know, she didn't have no money to just give to no damn people at that point. So she ended up asking Steven, could he ask Gabriel if he was able to look at it first and foremost to make sure that that was the reason, right? So, my husband ended up looking at it, looking at her car. I forgot what it was. Whatever it was, the mechanic shop wasn't quite truthful with her. It was an easy fix. It just was missing a bolt or something like that, bitch. Some damn shit, girl. I don't remember. I don't know shit about cars, but something like that. Long story short, her oil pan did eventually need replacing, but my husband was able to, like, patch it up some type of way in the meantime until she's able to get an oil pan and get a change, right? So, once again, my husband going coming to her rescue, saving her thousands of dollars. I was about to ask why she let somebody else change her oil, but then I had to remember the last time she got her oil changed, Steven almost fucked her car up. So, um, I can understand why, because by, by this time, she, she didn't already got it fixed. She had the, you know, got the car back to the house from the previous story time when I was telling y'all how he fucked her car up. Yeah, that was already fixed at this point. So, moving forward, y'all, like I told y'all, my husband had found his own realtor on his own time and so she sent us a couple of houses and one particular house we actually wanted to go see and so i'm gonna show y'all a couple of clips but um yeah we went to go see the house and stuff it didn't have a refrigerator in it which was crazy because i've never moved into a house where it didn't have a fridge so i was like okay that's gonna be something new or different for us to do we gotta buy a fucking refrigerator yay but that's only if we get approved right so we seen somebody else realtor card as if like somebody else bought a client there to see the house and i'm just like okay that's a sign like if we like this house we need to go ahead and apply right now literally after we went to go see the house we applied i think i was applying in the car because my husband was driving so i think i applied in the car i prayed over the application i prayed before i hit submit i did all of that because i'm just like lord jesus i need you to make we applied y'all probably like two days later i got an email and we got approved oh my god thank you lord thank you jesus we got approved so there is light at the end of this tunnel so okay it ain't no let that, that whole worst case scenario shit my husband was talking about it ain't gonna be none of that like it's a wrap ain't gonna be us trying to figure out nothing so i'm just like okay yeah so now it's time for me to tell katrina so we ended up telling katrina yeah we're not gonna do the whole moving with the same company because it, it would have been too much anyways they talking about we have to put a two week notice in before we can actually apply to a house which wouldn't even make sense because like why would we put a two weeks notice in and we're not even sure if y'all gonna even approve us like you know what i'm saying so 
we were just like, yeah, that would have just been too much. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get our own place. I did tell her that we did end up getting approved somewhere. And she was like, okay, cool. I'm about to start getting on my, you know, apartment hunting to try to find my own apartment. So, I'm like, okay, cool. The way I have been feeling for the last couple of months, I wasn't too sure how amicable this situation was going to end. It was a lot. And not to mention the whole maintenance shit, the window situation getting fixed. They literally dragged ass. They sent somebody out to come and look at the window and the guy who looked at the window was like, yeah, the whole window won't have to get replaced because these windows are custom made and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, I'm gonna see what the company wanna do. And based on that, then we'll let y'all know. So he left and I kinda already knew in the back of my mind, like, yeah, girl, they're not gonna fix his window. But we gonna see, he claimed he was gonna reach out to us and let us know. So I have been asking Katrina, like, hey, have you heard from the people? In between that time and the time that it was time for us to move, right? So I'm just like, hey, have you heard from the people and this and that? And she's like, no, it was literally coming to the end of our lease. So I was getting a little worried because I'm just like, why well, I feel like they're going to purposely drag this out until the end of the lease. And then by the end of the lease, they're going to deduct that from our security deposit. Like that was the first thing that I was thinking. I'm just like, yeah, why well, I feel like they're going to try to do this. But we're going to see. During this time, she was doing her own apartment hunting. I didn't ask where she was trying to find out apartment i didn't really give a fuck um <laughs> i just knew that she was apartment hunting at this point and during this time we were fridge hunting because we had to buy a whole refrigerator bitch so in these text messages i told katrina that we had um got approved for the house basically and that we're gonna move out on the first but come back to make sure because we had until the 13th to, to get out and so i was telling her we was gonna move on the first but we were gonna intermittently come back and get everything cleaned up and stuff like that. Um, so she replied and was like, okay, cool. I'm trying to apply to these apartments. They have one available for 522. Hopefully I get approved. And I'm like, okay, bet. let me know how it goes. She's like, I will. This was the same day, actually. She ended up saying, oh, before y'all move, um, do you think Gabriel can help Steven replace my oil pan? <laughs> and I asked, Gabriel and he was like okay I guess like whatever this is the very last thing that we're ever gonna do for this girl we ain't gonna ever probably see her again I think <laughs> at this point and so he was like yeah so I told her she's like yeah she was like yay thanks I'm like no problem so a couple days later she ended up texting me and she was like I got approved movement date is tomorrow and I'm like yay okay bet uh, are you going to be moving everything tomorrow? And do you want us to take the grill? Because we had went half on the grill, whatever. And so she was like, yeah, she was going to slowly move in, blah, blah, blah. At this point, my mom had came back to Houston because I had told her we were getting ready to move. And so she had to go back home before the first. And so I was like, fuck, I'd rather mama be here when we move. I talked to my husband and was like, let me see if we can just like move this moving date because if i can move in earlier or sooner then let's do just let's just do that that way i know i have someone to help watch the baby while we do this whole moving thing so we ended up changing our moving date and as you can see i told katrina i'm like hey my mom isn't able to stay until the first like we thought she could so um she got to go back to louisiana on monday so we decided to move our moving date up to this friday so she could be able to help with baby while we move then i said i was just thinking i hope they don't try to drag the window repair out and try to charge us out of the security deposit for it she was like i know i've been checking my email about it and it says someone is supposed to contact me but i never got a call so a couple of days later she ends up sending me a screenshot and they were saying based on the screenshot that they're gonna um have someone review her work order i'm like okay bet yay maybe they are gonna come fix this goddamn window right wrong girl they did not come fix that window at all by this time we didn't moved out bitch and let's go ahead and talk about this the day that we moved now we didn't have no help my husband literally we did everything on our own my husband picked up the big things and me and my kids we did the small stuff towards the end my husband's friend ended up coming and help us but that was literally towards the end by this time we had most of the things in the house anyway so you know we didn't really need too too much help but i think he was at work or something so that's why he ended up coming late a friend came and he was helping us so girl i left the house to i think drop some stuff off at the new house and come back as i'm pulling back up to the old place i see this white van 
like like a sprinter van but just without the seats so i'm just like oh okay that must be with katrina got to move her furniture because we had a u-haul um and i could kind of understand why she got that because she didn't really have much we had most of the furniture we had the wash and dryer we had the couch we had the big tv like we had a whole bedroom set like we had all of that so i happened to see another car but bitch it was darius car and i'm just like oh okay so you couldn't get them niggas to help you move so you got your baby daddy the one who kept your, your child from you the one who you could not stand he was the only one that you can count on to help you move wow how ironic how fucking ironic. I'm like, oh, okay, they must be doing good or whatever, I guess. They must be on good terms, which is good. You know, that's what they should have been doing in the first place, to be quite honest. This story time series would not have been as long as it had been had Darius just did right, came home, brought the baby back home, and they figured it out amicably without being upset and yelling at each other and all of this shit like they could have straightened that shit out without all of that but they didn't and we are here bitch so i was shocked i was i was shook bitch i'm just like wow and so let me go ahead and show y'all the picture because y'all know i took a picture bitch but yeah that picture that's that that was with darius was driving so the plan was katrina was driving darius car and darius was driving the sprinter or whatever um to help her move and so Darius and Steven was trying to bring her deep freezer out to the Sprinter. And so I keep saying Sprinter. <laughs> I'm just going to say the moving van, okay? Darius and Steven, they were trying to bring the deep freezer out there because she that was her deep freezer. That was the, the biggest thing, honestly, that she had. My husband's friend ended up seeing how Darius and Paul Steven was struggling to get that deep freezer out the front door. And so he was like, y'all need some help. And so um my husband's friend ended up taking over where steven was they switched spot and put it in the moving van so i'm just like how ironic our people helping the op because at this point darius was still the op we still wasn't talking we still hadn't talked to him since that fight bitch no you know what i'm lying the year before that because his birthday is in, the, is in july right i saw him happy birthday or whatever because at this point i was ready to spill tea on his baby mama he just didn't know but i was like no i can't do this like I i'm not gonna tell him who she really is or how she really be doing how she be leaving her child like i ain't gonna be that messy at least not right now like let me wait till we leave and you know whatever happens after that happens but I, i'm telling y'all i was so close to spilling a tea to him but that's the only reason why we talk was to tell each other happy birthday he would tell me happy birthday and i would have tell him happy birthday and that happened for like two consecutive years and if you're wondering girl why did you tell darius happy birthday in the first place it was specifically because we were still in a group chat with Darius um it was Darius myself my husband and some other associates of ours and so we never left the group chat you know everybody knew we weren't talking to Darius but you know it wasn't too bad to where we were like oh we're not gonna be in this group chat right so every year whenever it's somebody's birthday they'll say happy birthday in a group chat and so that's how that came about as far as me telling Darius happy birthday because they would tell him happy birthday and then I would be like, oh, okay, let me just say happy birthday too. And so that happened twice and let's continue the story. We get everything out the house. Well, for the most part, we get everything out the house. And when I tell y'all that was, I can feel it. It was hot as fuck. First of all, it was just starting to begin. Well, it wasn't summer yet, but it was getting ready to be summer because it was the end of May. I can't describe how free i felt that ride to our new place bitch i'm pretty sure my eyes was watering on that final trip back to the new house because we it was a couple trips that we had to take because we have to move four cars and all that stuff it was a lot of trips but that last trip bitch that last trip and that last trip is when we pulled up and we seen a van and all that that was the last trip bitch that was the best feeling that I had ever felt since living in Magnolia, Texas. I felt like I was getting out of jail, bitch. I felt like I was on my way home from doing 
a, a bit like and i mean maybe like a good 10 years you know what i'm saying i feel like i was just getting ready to start my life over it was so amazing oh and the same we had set everything up perfect the same day that we moved in was the same day our refrigerator got delivered and i love my refrigerator honestly i felt like we were being blessed more and more as we were settling into this house and i couldn't trade it for the world three years ago if you would have asked me if i would have ever thought that i would be in a situation like that i would be like no like that would never happen like no no but bitch, you can never say never because look at look at me. <laughs> we made it fucking through. Not to mention, I found out where Katrina stayed, obviously, by the location. Because the location stayed on for a while. We're we going to talk about that because we still got a, I got a bonus episode. And I'm going to tell y'all why. My kids were so happy to be where we are. My kids were just like, oh my God, mama is so clean. And it's so sad <laughs> for them to say. They was like, oh my God, mama, we, we actually can keep a clean house. Like, oh my God, mama, I didn't have to clean up so-and-so in so-and-so many days because it wasn't getting dirty like that. My kids were just so happy. That being said, we ended up going to my husband's people. You remember I be telling y'all, I don't be, be specific as to who these people are because it really don't matter. These people, we share the same family in somewhat way i can't remember what day we moved but whatever it was maybe about two or three days later there was a graduation party that we were invited to we also knew darius was going to be there as well but this wasn't the first time we went somewhere where darius would like i told y'all before we were literally look past him like he's not there he would look past us like we not there and it was that so this particular day we went to the graduation party and so as we are walking in the house to go to the party Darius is welcoming us in the door Darius is in the door opening the door for us he said something to my husband whenever everything was good they will always like talk shit to each other back and forth and so it was one of those moments and I was it kind of caught me off guard for a second because I'm just like the fuck do they know something that I don't know? Why are they communicating? Like, I ain't mad at it, you know what I'm saying? I ain't mad at it, but at the same time, it kind of like took me for a surprise. And so, I'm just like, oh shit, okay. And then Darius grabbed my baby, the newborn. He grabbed the baby and took him out the car seat and was playing with him. So as the night goes on, we're playing games with everybody. And I could tell Darius got a little liquor in him. And it was a vibe, like it felt like how it felt before Katrina came into the picture and so it went from that happening to maybe a couple weeks later my husband randomly tells me hey Darius gonna come to the house and chill for a little bit what he doing what okay you know I'm ready to spill tea right <laughs> I owe Katrina no loyalty whatsoever. She was never a part of my life before Darius. I only knew her from Darius. The only reason why me and Darius wasn't speaking because y'all already know how it went in the beginning. So I'm just like, oh shit. I text my best friend, I'm like, bitch, guess who finna come to the house? And she like, bitch. We could not believe it. The night that Darius comes over to the house, when I tell y'all how that was and what transpired from it y'all gonna be like I know you fucking lie and on that note I'm gonna end it because I am not gonna go into that right now <laughs> we got another another episode technically this was like the series finale but we got a bonus episode which is where we getting ready to get into next time so that being said don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because you don't want to miss it if you didn't subscribe in the beginning you need to subscribe now because girl when I tell y'all, y'all gonna be like a bitch girl. Stay close to the tune. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Also, don't forget to hit that like button. That way, your girl could be out here in these YouTube streets. Hit that notification bell as well so that you can be notified the next time I post. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and message me to be added to the close friends. Don't forget to do that, okay? Because you never know, you might get some tea before everybody else get it next week, okay? I love y'all so much for watching and I'm gonna see y'all next time.